Joe Biden called the governors of Texas, Mississippi, pretty much any state that's actually choosing not to force its citizens to wear a mask. He called them Neanderthals. I think it's a big mistake. Thank you. I hope everybody's realized by now these masks make a difference. We are on the cusp of being able to fundamentally change the nature of this disease because of the way in which we're able to get vaccines in people's arms. We've been able to move that all the way up to the end of May to have enough for every American to get every adult American to get a shot. And the last thing, the last thing we need is the Neanderthal thinking that in the meantime, everything's fine. Take off your mask. Forget it. It still matters. What happened to unity, Joe? I mean, isn't this the great uniter? The guy that's supposed to bridge the gap between left and right, and, and we can't look at our, ourselves as red versus blue? Yeah, that, that didn't really happen, did it? I'll be honest with you. Neanderthal thinking means being a constitutionalist? Then I guess we're all Neanderthals. I don't care, because I don't take offense to this coming from a guy that can barely complete a sentence half the time. I'm surprised he even got the words out as it is in that clip, but keep in mind also that he's specifically talking about masks. The same mask that he very rarely is wearing correctly. The, I mean, the whole video is touching it, grabbing it. Once again, they don't do this correctly anyways. Oftentimes, they're the ones that are hypocrites. The people that are the worst about trying to require people to wear one are typically the ones breaking their own rules all the time. So Greg Abbott, governor of Texas, actually responded to Biden about this in this clip here. Is one of the people that he was thinking about. Governor, how do you respond to the president's unification message of calling you and other governors a Neanderthal? Uh, two things, Brian. Uh, first, it, it, it obviously is not the type of thing that a president should be saying. Uh, but second, he kind of said it on the worst day he could have. Because the same day he said that, uh, in Texas, the Biden administration was releasing Illegal, immigrant, illegal immigrants into our communities who had COVID. The Biden administration was spreading COVID in South Texas yesterday because of their lack of constraint of, of testing and, and uh, quarantining uh, people who'd come across the border illegally. The Biden administration uh, was exposing Texans to COVID. That is Neanderthal type approach uh, to dealing with the COVID situation. But more importantly, Brian, is this. Uh, and that is, with regard to masks, uh, the, the change in Texas really wasn't all that much different from where we were before for a couple of reasons. Uh, first, we are still uh, strongly advocating uh, that every Texan follow the best practice. Where we are today is completely different from where we were this time last year when Texans and Americans didn't know how to deal with this for an entire year. Texans have learned the best practice, and that is to wear a mask, and we still strongly recommend that people do wear a mask. But Brian, know this, that I'm, I know you folks know, uh, and that is when we saw the spikes in cases after Christmas and New Year's, uh, we, we saw that most of those spikes, they didn't occur in businesses or in schools or uh, in lo other locations like that, like retail centers. Most of those transmissions occurred in the home setting where people were not wearing a mask in the first place. And so right. uh, the mask requirement being eliminated isn't going to make that big of a change in the state of Texas. Also, people in Texas will continue to wear masks, even though there's not a state mandate. We're just in a situation now where government mandates are not needed because Texans gotcha. do know the best practices. Hey, Governor, you're not telling everyone to do it. You're giving them the freedom to decide. Like, for example, CVS, exactly. JCPenney, Hyatt Hotels, Kroger, Macy's, Starbucks. I go on to Target. You got to wear a mask to go in there. That's the same thing they're doing in Florida. It's up to. And of course, what he's saying is absolutely correct. I actually did this in a separate video where I talk specifically about them allowing these immigrants to come over, knowing, by the way, that they had COVID-19. They tested them, they were positive, and they said, hey, release them on into the United States, come on in. You cannot pretend to care about the coronavirus when you are continuing to let these illegal immigrants come into the country that have t actually legitimately tested positive. You, you clearly don't care about the American citizens. There's no way that you possibly could do that when you're continuing to be a hypocrite with this other immigration policy. It just goes to show, once again, you can't be woke as a Democrat consistently across the board. It just doesn't work. Because you'll pretend 
And, and this is why, I guess, really, all the mass, the whole virus has been politicized so much. This is where it really comes to backfire them. Because, see, the thing is, is that conservatives are saying, look, don't worry about the mass. This isn't that big of a deal. You know, everybody's going to get the virus at some point. Anyways, it's just a matter of time. But the Democrats are the ones telling you you need to wear it. But, yeah, we're going to open up the border. Come on in, uh, immigrants that have actually tested positive for it. Come on right on in. We don't really care. You just watched a clip from The William Hall Show. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.